Hi guys, welcome to See News World. Today, <laughs> I can't take it. <laughs> Obviously, I'm Missini, and these are my new friends from Disney Cruise Line, Disney Fantasy. So, um, three of us here are new hires, and then we have two returnees. And we're basically going to ask each other basic questions about cruise life, being a part of the cast, and just one-on-one uh, -on -one questions as well, if we wanted to have any like crazy questions we wanted to ask each other. So, let's get started. I'll... I'll pass it off to Dan to introduce yourself, and then we'll just go on the <clears> stage. <throat> so, my name is Dan. Uh, I'm a returner. I was on the previous Disney Fantasy cast. I'm originally from Chicago, but I've lived in New York for the past numerous years. Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm from Vancouver, Canada, not Vancouver, Washington. Um, and I'm a new hire. Um, I'm Taylor. Uh, I'm from Ohio. I'm a returner. <laughs> I uh, was on the Disney Wonder, and I obviously um and ah a lot. <laughs> Wait, you're what? I obviously say um and ah a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you said um and ah a lot. I am like, I forgot to say it. Hey, you yourself. I'm Shannon. I am new. I am from Charlotte, North Carolina, but I live in New York currently and have for a little while. Yeah. Anyhow, so, <laughs> so um, so I know. So um, what I did was I asked um everyone to come up with five questions to ask each other. So does anybody want to get started? Taylor, that sounds like you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what are you guys most excited about? For this upcoming contract. <laughs> to be on like the cruise? Yeah. Are you asking me? Or are you I'm asking, asking all of you? Okay, well I'm excited because of the fact that I get to travel. It's one of my favorite things to do. And um, not only travel but perform, you know, so it's kind of like doing uh two of my favorite things, but then <laughs> more than one. And then also getting to new like to meet new people, like coming um to well we're in Toronto right now, and um, I'm already from here. But moving like where from where I live to here, I was a little bit nervous because you know meeting new people it just makes you a little bit anxious. You don't know what to expect. Um, but I think it's been fun so far. So I'm like even more excited to feel what it's gonna be like just with you guys now. You know what I mean? Like that adds on to it. So that's my opinion. Anybody else? Yeah, I'm excited to work in like a such a diverse kind of workplace because right. everyone's from like a different place. Like, yeah, they're people from yeah. Like, yeah. Europe and yeah. Asia, and just to get to meet people. Mm -hmm. places. I'm excited to meet people too. <laughs> 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 <I'm good. laughs> I'm excited, honestly, to get paid to perform for so long. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I feel Aside like I'm, yeah. yeah. Of, of it all. Being an actor, yeah. this is one of the longest contracts I've had. I feel yeah, like nine it's not just, yeah, it's not just good for anyone else, but it's like it's difficult to find something sustainable, right? Um, last for a while, and yeah, it's just like a nice <coughs> break from menial jobs for sure. Yeah, what about well, you guys? Are. <laughs> <laughs> anyhow, 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 okay, what's another question you've turned? Well, I, I think the one of the questions I always think about, and I thought about during my first contract a lot was like right. something that I was nervous about coming into. If there's anything even coming to Toronto or mm -hmm. something you're nervous about going on board, so that sticks out to you? Yeah. I'm I will coming here, I was I'm a people pleaser, so I'm always afraid that people are gonna like me. Like <laughs> I know it's like so sad, but it's so true. Like I don't know. No, it's real. It's been it's a fear, real. like that's a fear that I've always had is like growing up. It's just people are don't like me, you know what I mean? Even though I'm not here for people, it's more like it's just a sort of thing. But yeah, it's still like very social environment. <laughs> yeah, it's a hard thing to sort of. Yeah, especially because we like live together for nine months. Yeah. Exactly. So this becomes, this has to become like a new family. Too. Right. Exactly. Otherwise, like. And I'm if I'm gonna, <laughs> like, it's just like, am I gonna click with anybody? You know what sure. I mean? Am I gonna have anything to like relate with, or am I gonna feel like an outcast? Like I, sure. that was one of a fear I had. <laughs> But I don't want to. You're feel not like an outcast. I'm not an outcast. <laughs> She's an outcast. <laughs> but yeah, and for the ship, um, one of my fears is just being away from home for so long. Mm -hmm. That's just you know natural fear that I think anybody would have. 
But yeah, that's yeah. me. Anybody else? I get. I mean, I've never even been on a cruise ship, <laughs> so I think just like the sheer physicality of like living in a cabin and rocking around and doing a show while the boat's rocking and mm-hmm. it's, it's going to be interesting. But I'm excited for it. But you know, mm. trepidatious. Mm. Mm-hmm. Those are all things that I was gonna say. So yeah, like jumping, <laughs> jumping in the air, and like landing in a completely different spot on the stage. Like, right? <laughs> I'm afraid that's gonna happen. Yeah, it does happen. I do. Um. Uh, oh God. Got me on the spot. Taylor, mm-hmm. unprepared. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> Hashtag unprepared. <laughs> Hashtag unprepared. Like that. Subscribe below. Subscribe. Okay. Um. What's a, what, what's one of the like a Disney movie that was super classic to you as a child if you thought oh. you were raised in a way that you're super excited to be able to embody on stage oh, okay. here? Or if we don't get to do it, then yeah. that's an example. But Disney's obviously put an impact on all of our lives in some capacity. Right. Anybody want to go? Hmm. Well, I know mine. Um, I feel like I'm always going first. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lion King. And I'm so excited like about... You know, getting yeah, getting to perform. Backstage. Yeah. So it's just like Lion King has always been something I grew up with. It was always a movie I would watch on repeat. And it was one of the first musicals I saw too. Mm-hmm. So it's just exciting to like be a part of all the characters and like. That narrative. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, Lion King was fun. Mm-hmm. Anybody else? <laughs> well, I, I, my, one of my favorite movies was Tarzan. And I'm really sad that we don't get to. Oh, yeah. right. mm-hmm. You need to do well, something. Well, yeah, I mean, there's like that one song, which is like... <laughs> <laughs> Great. Right? It's like fabulous. No. I love dancing. I love our combat. Like, yeah, true. One of my favorite Partners. parts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, but, yeah, I just think, because when I was a little girl, I was watching these movies all the time, and getting to see, like these characters in real life mm-hmm. <clears throat> kind of like brought me back to when I was young. It was, yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. I know, like, getting to see them, like, when they come out, <laughs> it's like, oh my god! Like, they yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. you know? Seeing yeah. Mickey Mouse, I know. But yeah. I mean, Mickey Mouse is on stage, you're like, it's weird because oh, he's sure. right there. Yeah. Actually, like, you don't even take with your celebrity a little bit. It's yeah. He's a celebrity. He's everywhere. Yeah. He's the yeah. He's, oh. he's the boat. Yeah. Um, do you have any advice for, like, the newbies coming onto the ship? Like, any do's or don'ts, or, like, you know what I mean? Like, basic living advice for the cruise. Um, I'd say let everything, like, roll off your shoulder. Don't take anything too personally, Mm. ever. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna have to, like, really (laughs) tap into that, because I like to talk back, you know? Like, excuse me. (laughs) Excuse me. Yeah. No, but okay. But like to be rehired anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's it's similarly similarly that it's it's a very different experience on the ship because right. we're no longer in a creative rehearsal environment, right? So now we're right. just kind of like the show is on its feet, like we're in the run, mm-hmm. and so I think it can become a. I mean, with the worries that becomes monotonous at times, you know, how do you make it fresh for yourself? And I think that's, for me, on my last contract, it was always trying to find, like, a new creative endeavor that I wasn't doing, that was related to Disney in any way. Yeah. So it was, like, learning to play guitar, or learning a new language, or, like, you know, just spending time with the friends, but not talking about the work in any way. Right. Um, because otherwise, I think it can become tedious, and then it's, like, you don't want to wake up. Because we, that's the thing about, especially being on a cruise ship, is that you work where you live. Mm-hmm. I mean, we live, I mean... Uh, truly 20 feet from the theater. Right. So we t- we walk downstairs so, and we're yeah. in the theater. Yeah. So, so making that like separation from work and living can yeah. be hard. Yeah. That's that's actually good advice because then sometimes because you're in it all the time, you feel like you need to, it basically consumes your life. Absolutely, yeah. You know what I mean? That's but, one thing you missed most last contract about being in your normal life. Loved ones is the, I mean like being right. away from like like boyfriends or being away from like moms and dads, mm-hmm. it's hard because it's as much as and I don't know if you're the scene or scene worlds are out there now, <laughs> but like we don't get Wi Fi on the ship, so <laughs> we pay for Wi Fi just like the guests pay for Wi Fi. Right. Um, so if we want to be talking to loved ones, sending texts or you know FaceTiming or whatever it is when mm-hmm. we're on the ship, 
um, it's like a financial, you know, you're, you're, mm-hmm. you're investing in it. Right. Um, and so it's not something that you could do all the time, especially if you're trying to save while you're on this contract. Mm-hmm. So, um, being out of touch can be hard. Yeah. But then there are ways to, I mean, and I will say that there are ways 100% to navigate that. Like every time we're in port, there's always a place that has free Wi Fi that you can go, like, FaceTime your, your family. Right. Um, but it is strange, just, like, not, because we live in a world, I feel, that so technologically inclined that like whenever I want to I can always text my boyfriend and say like hey I yeah. miss you yeah. or like I can be like hey I need to call you I need to hear your voice mm-hmm. with my mom yeah. um, versus when you're sh- when you're on the ship you don't necessarily always have that privilege yeah um, you will always at, at some point during the week sure. but not always at the moment when you need to have it yes yeah that's something <laughs> not to bum out the world <laughs> <laughs> no I've been like struggling with that a little bit like Shannon knows because like <laughs> Shannon's my roommate but I I I complain all, all the time about like the idea of not being able to talk to talk to my mom all the time because mm-hmm. we're like com- like attached to the <laughs> to each other even if we're not with each other we're like always in communication so it's like I think this is going to be a good growing opportunity for myself to be independent for sure but at the same time it's, it's like it's yeah. frightening it's like oh my this gosh is the first person time. who's protected me all my life yeah. you're not going to be able to you went to school though pretty decently close to home right? yes so it was something that you've always had. So this is really your first foray into being outside. Exactly. Home. That's really interesting. Yeah. So it's something I've, I've wanted to do is like be separated from my mom. Just so, not because I like, for any bad reason. Well, just like, cord eventually exactly, in some way. Right? Exactly. Like to like just grow as an individual. But to think of the fact that I can't have the option to call because right. we're, like, that's what's scaring me is like, those things were like, Andrea, <laughs> where is she? And I can't call her. <laughs> that's it's frightening. Yeah. Well, that's why like the whole like interconnection of like family is super important because yeah. you have to have a second family in your cast. Yeah. And with everyone, right? Yeah, you yeah. have at least so a familial nature. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And then I think everyone in a way, like there's everyone in our cast, I feel like if I was having a bad day, I could be like, hey, like even if we're not super close, I feel like I could still dish out and be like, yeah. I need you to like yeah. just be a backboard for right. this. Yeah. Soundboard for me to say it's not feeling. And I think everyone understands that because we're all in the same position. Right. Yeah. And it's good. I think we kind of get practice here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, we're, we come to each other for advice or like, if we're feeling down or we can't get a step, we're like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. So I think, I think uh, we're starting to learn who to go to for certain things. Right now. And there is something unique about having your colleagues be with your friends and your family yeah. and your roommates. And exactly. I mean, it's like a kind of a, it's a really cool experience. It I is, think. yeah. But it's unique. Right. You know? Yeah. Any, any questions for that? Um, or, yeah. Since you've like been traveling to the same place, like hmm. for the same, I don't know, it's easy rotational. It's like one week mm-hmm. you're in the Eastern Caribbean, one week you're in Western. But how do you, what do you, do because you pr- you can pretty much get through all of like um, the activities and stuff like within like a few months. Like, what do you do when you're done doing everything? <laughs> uh, after you've explored that? the Caribbean, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, well, I think uh, you can speak about the wonder because yeah. Do you want? Okay. It was pretty much just like spacing it all out. Mm-hmm. Oh, because no. there's going to be a lot of things to do, but there's only going to be certain things that you want to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's all about planning it out and spacing out, not doing it all at the very beginning. Right. Because if you do it all at the very beginning, you're not going to get off the boat when like, <laughs> it comes to be like the last three months of the contract. Right, right. <laughs> <That's so sad. laughs> yeah. You're never going to leave the boat. Yeah. <laughs> and there's going to be those days where like, you're going to be like, no, nah, I'm not going to get off because I don't have anything that I necessarily want to do. Right. But. Yeah, yeah. you can just like walk around. Like, you wouldn't. I mean. <laughs> if I just, uh, if, but like some ports are like tender ports where you have to like get on a separate boat to get into the port and then you have to like really? yeah, go so it's like that Grand Cayman as well. Yeah. So essentially like the boat is so big that it can't get into the port because oh. we can't get back to the port. So we dock outside mm. and they have like little little boats kind of like <laughs> take our guests. That's not friendly at all. To, oh my God. It's fun. It's like a big boat to a little boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I mean, specifically on the Disney Fantasy, we do Eastern and Western, and all, almost all of our cruises are seven-day cruises, right. so we do the same ports every other week. Okay. Uh, so we do the same, basically, six or seven ports, including Castaway Key, Disney's private island. So um, 
I would say, but I would say, like, I, there are so many things, because when we go to Cozumel, Grand Cayman, mm -hmm. Jamaica, we go to Falmouth, there's always something to do. Mm -hmm. It's just whether you have the energy to go out and do it. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And that's the thing is, if you want to go out and you want to go kayaking, if you want to go snorkeling, or right. you want to go, you know, zip lining, that's always available to you. Yeah. Um, but a lot of times it's just cool to, like, just walk around the port right. and see what's mm -hmm. there, there. Because, yeah. like, the cultures, even though they're all it's islands that are around yeah. each other, it's, they're all so vastly different, right? The, the people on all these different islands, and that, I think that was an ignorance that I came in with, because I was like, oh, I feel like everyone's going to be the same. And sometimes you walk on the island, you're like, oh my god, am I Greg Cayman or am I Cos? Like, yeah, you, know, yeah, you just yeah, don't yeah. know, and yeah. you're like, okay, <laughs> read the sign. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but then you realize, like, the, everyone's experience is so vastly different on their islands, and what, their, what are their islands' major exports, you know? What are, like, what are these people doing on the island? Right. It's super cool. Mm. Um, but I will say, like, there are many times that you just don't oh. get off the ship, because you're like, I'm hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to stay in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's no Starbucks here. Oh, right. No, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. It's going to feel like, I have a feeling it's going to feel like home for me. Because yeah. the one thing I'm obsessed to, like, doing what, at least once or twice a year is going to the Caribbean. I, like, yeah. always go and, like, I have family in the Caribbean. I'm, like, excited because I'll get to see some of my family and some of the That's ports. so nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited about that. But, yeah, well... Any questions? Like general questions? Doesn't have to be about cruise. I think uh, it's a good thing I tweeted out earlier. Hashtag CD question and answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll check the Twitter verse and see what people have responded to us. Okay. Did you actually? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so okay, I have a question. I have a question. So for the, the these are for the. Or actually, this could be for anybody because we're all performers here. Is there anything? What? Yeah, you didn't know. <laughs> um, but we're, uh, yes. Is are there any like traditions or rituals, rituals yeah. that you guys do before a performance? Mm, it depends on what it is. I mean, for me, it's like so. Obviously, we all have different features in the, in the different shows. Right. So, if it's a show that I'm heavily featured in, like obviously my warm up is a little bit more extensive than it would be if I'm like, just like ensemble in the back corner. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> um, well, it doesn't mean for it could be for any performance. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, but what's really nice is that when you find out when we're on the ship, in the backstage areas, it's like these like giant, it's very white and very kind of. Um, clinical in the way, but it's, it, it, there's like these massive staircases that lead you up, mm -hmm. and on either side there's like this big open space on both sides mm -hmm. where like, the acoustics are amazing, oh, cool. so like warming up back there, That's like fun. right outside the stage is awesome. Nice. Because yeah, you get to hear your voice, you're like, yeah, yeah, this is what I sound like. <laughs> yeah. It's so resonant. Ooh. <laughs> Any rituals? I always have to have like a specific kind of gum before I perform. Gum? Really? You do? Yeah. Well, is it different, is it different it. pretending on each on each show? Is it different? No. Is it spearmint for no, it's you. I'm having a seizure. <laughs> Denty. It's Denty. It's the black color. It's like that really. Oh yeah, strong, that, like, the strong. Like, yeah. 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 And also, it, it's it's just become such a habit for me now that I hate performing without like a minty like mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's really cool. And what about you? I mean, on the ship, like any day that it's like a. <laughs> A show day, I'll mm -hmm. go eat right when the mess opens. I'll eat a little bit and then I'll eat like in between the shows a little bit so I'm not like fully heavily got food in my stomach for right, right, right. half the show. <laughs> and I'm also still eating and not dying. Yeah. But that's pretty much about it. Okay. So just food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What would you say? I usually like to have like an alone moment. Right. Like okay. I put my music in my headphones and I'm like you know I mean. <laughs> Me myself. <laughs> no, yeah. Good book. <laughs> exactly. No, yeah. Just like a centering kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I I pray before every performance. That's just a me thing. I pray, and then um I have I like to be alone, cause I think I get too like in my head if I'm like I get antsy. Sure. If I'm around a lot of people, so I'll just like it's gonna get really quiet. <laughs> like I'll just be like. Oh, and I'm, I'm, I have, like, I need to pee. Like, even if I, like, don't have the urge to pee, like, oh, before yeah. a performance, I need, that's one thing. Like, mm -hmm. even if I have five minutes, I'm like, I will run. I need to just relieve Release. myself just yeah. in case. And then, 
<laughs> yeah. <Please. laughs> Seriously. No matter what, I always have to pee before. So that's my ritual. I don't know if that was too much information. <laughs> yeah, my just yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, Massini. Oh, God. Uh, I just had a quick question, you know. <laughs> Is how do I find more videos just like this? Well, if you click the link below, subscribe. You'll below. subscribe to my channel, and you can get as many videos as you'd like. Okay. Hashtag also, fun. if you click the bell, you'll get notifications when Ooh. I post a new video. Wait, mm -hmm. did, did that? Ding. Because every single time you post a video, <laughs> like, I get an email. Yeah, yeah, I get an email. email. Oh, Cini's world. See, I'm all up in your grill. I all like up it. In. We love it. Cini's world. But yeah, so I want to thank you guys so much for for congregating and talking <laughs> with me. <laughs> with me. Um, if you haven't subscribed before, make sure you guys subscribe below. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Um, like this channel. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Love y'all. Bye.